Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be unboxing and demonstrating this toy Dyson cylinder vacuum cleaner by Kasdan. It requires four C-size batteries and is suitable for children ages three to eight years. Okay, without any further ado, let's get it out of the box, put some batteries in and we'll be able to demonstrate this little toy. Okay, let's get the box open. And have a look at all the parts we get inside. Well, in this little bag, we've got, whoops, a crevice tool. Got a little upholstery nozzle. Not sure what these parts are, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. This looks like it's the hose handle. And this is our main carpet and floor nozzle. Oh, it looks like it's got some revolving beads in there. Oh yes, look. When we're using it, those beads move about. Oh, and there's a suction inlet. We'll be testing the cleaner shortly. We've got a see-through pipe so we can see everything that we pick up going up the pipe. We've got the instructions. And finally, we've got the little toy Dyson itself. Here's all the parts out of the box. And the first thing we need to do is attach these little red clips to the handle. So the first thing we need to do is clip this to the handle. This holds the two small cleaning tools I showed you earlier. And that fits at the top of the handle. Just have to get it in the right position. Turn it until it clicks into position. And this piece just clips on to the handle a bit lower down, just about there. And now we need to connect the end of the hose into the small opening at the top of the handle. Just push it until it clicks. Before I can use this toy Dyson vacuum cleaner, I need to insert four C-sized batteries into this compartment here. So I just need a screwdriver just to remove the cover. There we go. And now I can put my batteries in that compartment. So with four batteries installed, I just need to pop the cover back on and tighten up the screw. This toy Dyson has two cleaning modes. On setting one, we get a simulated cyclonic action and on setting two, we get suction through the hose. To test the suction power of this toy Dyson, I've put down some colored polystyrene balls. Now you don't actually get these supplied with the toy, you have to buy them separately. I got uh, a fairly large bag quite cheaply from eBay. Okay then, let's switch the machine on into its suction mode, which is setting two. And uh, I think for this, it'll probably be better if I pass the nozzle backwards over the dirt. It's only got quite a small opening, so it's not going to sweep up like a real one would. It will hopefully pick all these bits up, but it might take a little time. Okay, let's turn it on. Well, as you can see, it is taking rather a long time to pick them up. I have put down quite a lot though, but eventually it will pick everything up. I think it'll be quicker though, if we take the nozzle off, we can do a much faster job just using the tube. There we go, 
it got everything in the end. Now let's see where all those polystyrene balls have ended up. This is where all the coloured polystyrene balls have ended up, in this clear little container on the underside of the toy. To empty it we just need to move those little red levers and pull it out and there you go, that's everything that we picked up. And to actually empty this, you can either tip it out, there's a little hole, that's where all the bits go into the container, but you can actually open the whole thing up eventually. It's a little bit stiff because it's new. There we go. And then you can tip that out and have a lot of fun picking it up all over again. Just like a real Dyson, you can connect any of the small tools directly onto the handle. So I've put on the crevice tool. Let's see if it manages to pick up any of these balls. Oh dear. Well, it looks like these particular polystyrene balls are a little bit too big for the crevice tool. There are some smaller ones mixed in here, but um, not many. That's a shame. Let's see if we have any better luck using this little nozzle. And that fits on just the same. I think that one will be fine. It's got a much bigger opening. So let's switch on again. Oh yes, look at that. A much better job. When I test a real vacuum cleaner on my channel, I sometimes like to do a big mess test where I put down a load of dirt in order to see how well the vacuum cleaner picks it up. Well, I thought if I can do it for a real vacuum, why not do it for this toy Dyson? So I've done the equivalent of a big mess test. I've put down more than double the amount of polystyrene balls that I picked up earlier, and I'm just going to use the extension wand on its own. and Let's see if we can manage to pick all these balls up. It's doing well so far. Wow, that was pretty impressive. It managed to pick up everything. Let's have a look, shall we? It should all now be inside. Oh, look how full it is. I don't think I could have got any more in there. That, well, I, I could have got a few more, couldn't I? Not many though. That's fantastic. All of those polystyrene balls trapped again inside this little container. And because I enjoyed it so much, let's do it one more time, shall we? Wow. Oh, there's a couple there, they don't want to come out. There we go. Let's pop that back in. Making sure we put it in the right way, because there's a hole here, you must make sure it goes in the correct way. There's a little hole. I don't. Can you just see it there? We've not got to make sure we line that hole hole up with that. So let's pop it in. And make sure we close it tightly. And let's have one last go at picking up this mess.
So you can use the toy Dyson like this with the simulated cyclonic action or you can use it like this with the real suction. Just like a real Dyson, this Eden has a parking bracket at the back so you can store the hose and wand on the machine neatly. And when you finish playing with your toy Dyson, you can wrap the hose around the body of the machine just like the real Dyson stowaway. That's the end of my video of this Dyson vacuum cleaner by Kasdan. I think it's a great little toy for your budding vacuum fan. Now, I like the simulated cyclonic action. And I also like the fact that it's got quite a lot of suction for a toy vacuum. In fact, I think it's more powerful than the toy Henry I demonstrated on my channel a while ago. Also, it's got a much longer hose than the Toy Henry, so if you've got a taller child, they're not stooping and bending to help with the housework. All in all, it's a fantastic little toy for all you budding vacuum cleaner fans. Please stay tuned because I've got more toy vacuum cleaners coming up. If you want to check the toy vacuum cleaners I've already tested on my channel, you can click on the link below and you can click on the link in the video. And if you want to progress from toy vacuums to real vacuums, you'll find hundreds of videos on my channel iBasiac. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.